Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Recently there's been a lot of uncertainty surrounding third-party apps and their accessibility. Today I want to share my favourite media app that I use every day. Let's check it out. If like me you stream most of your content these days, having a good and reliable app is essential. Today I'll be showing you how to install my go-to app, Kodi. The most stable recent version of Kodi is version 21.2 and that's the one I will be installing today. If you're using an Android device, you can easily download Kodi from the Google Play Store. If it isn't available in your app store, or if you want to install it on your Fire TV stick, Cube or Fire TV, you can still install it by sideloading with the Downloader app. In this video, I'll show you how to install the latest version of Kodi using the Fire TV stick second generation 4K Max. Don't worry if you're using a different device, the steps are generally the same. From the home screen, choose the Find option, then click on Search. Use your remote to start typing the word Downloader. As you select the letters, suggestions will appear below to save you from typing the whole word. Tap down and click on Downloader. Next, select the orange Downloader app and on the next screen, click the button to get or download the app. After installing, click Open and, if prompted, allow downloader access to your files. If you are using the Downloader app, you will need to give permission for Downloader to install apps. Go into your Fire Stick settings, My Fire TV, Developer Options, Install Unknown Apps and click on Downloader to turn the permission on. If you have a newer Fire Stick or Fire TV where the Developer Options menu is hidden, when you get to the My Fire TV settings, select About. Next, tap the Select button on your remote seven times or until you see a message at the bottom of the screen that says, no need, you are already a developer. Once that message appears, Press the back button on your remote once and you'll now be able to see and access the developer options menu and allow Downloader to install unknown apps. Open Downloader and type in 28907 then click go. Wait a few seconds for my downloads page to load then press the menu button on your remote and press it again to enter full screen mode. Press the options button again one more time and select add current page to favorites to save my downloads page to your favorites. That way you can always access it even if you forget my code. Next, tap down the screen to view a list of categories. Select the Media Players category, then scroll down the list until you find Kodi and select it. On the next screen, tap down to the Kodi Downloads section and select the correct download link for your device. I'm using my Fire Stick, so I'll choose the Fire TV version. Click Install to install or update the app. If you already have Kodi installed, updating it to the latest stable version won't impact any previously installed add-ons as long as you're not updating from Kodi 18. Once installed, click Done and then Delete and Delete again to delete the installation file as it's no longer required. You can now go into your app screen and open it. 
When you do, to ensure that Kodi works without any problems, you will need to allow Kodi to access media on your device. So make sure you click allow when prompted. Once Kodi has been successfully installed on your device or updated to the latest version, remember that Kodi is primarily a media player and does not come with any pre-installed content. If you wish to enhance your Kodi experience by installing an add-on or even a build, then check out my website firetvsticks.com. Select the Kodi option from the menu and take your streaming experience to the next level. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Once Kodi has been successful,